From undersea battles to crime-solving Pokémon, November was filled with exciting glimpses of upcoming movies. Here are all the November trailers that showcase some of the best-looking new films. Will the Merc with a filthy mouth still bring enough of his trademark charm in a PG-13 film? That's the experiment 20th Century Fox is running this December by releasing a cleaned-up version of Deadpool 2 for Christmas. That should work. The first order of business is to get me in front of Cable so I can pull all the f blood out of his body and fashion his bones into holiday jewelry. Although, to be honest, since you can't tell what Ryan Reynolds' mouth is doing under that mask, it can't be too hard to dub in some more family-friendly jokes. Just look at all the versions of this scene. Ooh! Yeah! Your bullets. They're really fast. Ooh. Those bullets are, like, super fast. Ow. Once Upon a Deadpool will also apparently feature some entirely new scenes featuring Fred Savage back in his role as the little kid in bed from The Princess Bride. Check it out when Once Upon a Deadpool hits theaters on December 12th. As the director of The Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson is a guy who knows a thing or two about big, epic films, and few stories fit that description better than Mortal Engines. Although he won't be directing, Jackson is producing and co-writing this dystopian story about massive rolling cities that eat other cities. Because really, what else could a giant city eat? Tuna fish sandwiches? While we've had plenty of glimpses of mortal engines in the past months, November saw an extended trailer that focuses more on the crazy world of the film. Take a look when Mortal Engines premieres on December 14th. After becoming the surprise star of Justice League in 2017, Jason Momoa is back in the role of Aquaman in a standalone movie that'll see him fighting to save Atlantis from his half-brother Orm, and taking on a swarm of deep-sea monsters called the Trench. Oh, and Black Manta is in there, too. It's clear that Warner Brothers has a lot of faith in this movie, and all signs point to an outrageously fun big-screen adventure for DC fans. After all the jokes at his expense, Shut up, Aquaman! Let's go, buddy! I'm coming! Ow! Ow! <laughs> last one of the party can't fly! Maybe Aquaman will finally get the last laugh. He can take the dive when Aquaman arrives on December 21st. Keanu Reeves headlines this sci-fi thriller as a scientist who finds himself in dire straits after he clones his dead family. How could you do this? Because I love you. Apparently, he broke some rules when he fired up his big old clone oven because now the government's gunning for him and his family. What's a simple scientist to do? Fight back to save his loved ones again. Replicas has been a long time coming. It was announced in 2014 and began production in 2016, making a nearly five-year journey to the big screen. Hopefully, it was worth the wait. Replicas hits theaters on January 11, 2019. M. Night Shyamalan's Glass is building a lot of hype, and November's minute-long TV spot highlights Kevin Crumb's beast persona and more scenes from some kind of battle against the police. Of course, being an M. Night Shyamalan film, there's no doubt that Glass is going to feature plenty of twists that aren't being touched on in the trailers. Tellingly, none of the trailers show what Mr. Glass is up to outside of that psychiatric hospital. That's all the more reason to check it out when Glass breaks into theaters on January 18th. Serenity has equal potential to be either a harrowing, mind-bending thriller or a whole bunch of crap. It's hard to tell at this point. Matthew McConaughey stars as the captain of a fishing boat enjoying the quiet island life in the tropics. He's reunited with his interstellar co-star Anne Hathaway, who asks him to kill her husband. From that launching point, the trailer dives into a world of paranoia and backstabbing, with hints that there's a bigger plotline at work behind the scenes. This whole island's a part of it, but nobody knows it. Serenity was written and directed by Stephen Knight, who previously put out 2013's Locke, starring Tom Hardy, and wrote the screenplay for David Cronenberg's Eastern Promises. Look for Serenity to drop into theaters on January 25, 2019. Right now, there are two camps when it comes to Alita, Battle Angel. On one side, people seem to be having a little trouble dealing with the decision to make Alita's eyes big and anime-like. So what do you say? I say no, it's not art. On the other side, you have people who are genuinely excited to see the beloved manga come to the big screen. Ultimately, it'll come down to how well the film handles the story. Sure, some of the CGI looks a little goofy, and Alita's relationship with the boy in the trailer smells a lot like high school melodrama. You are the most human person I have ever met. Fingers crossed that none of that will drag the film down. With both Robert Rodriguez and James Cameron working behind the scenes to bring Alita to life, there's still a chance this could be one of the surprise hits of 2019. Find out when it lands on February 14th.
The future just got a whole lot more interesting with the release of the second teaser for Captive State. Like the first teaser, this one showcases a world in turmoil as humanity tries to win back its freedom from a ruling class of extraterrestrials. Rise of the Planet of the Apes director Rupert Wyatt is helming and co-writing the film, with Ashton Sanders and John Goodman starring. Check it out in March 2019. Ryan Reynolds is set to star in Detective Pikachu, providing the weirdly deep voice of Pokémon's iconic yellow electric mouse thing. I know, you can't understand me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you! The story sees Pikachu teaming up with a young man named Tim Goodman to find Goodman's father, a detective who went missing. Since Goodman is apparently the only human who can understand what Pikachu is actually saying, they have to work together to navigate the magical world of adorable Pokémon critters to solve the case. You gotta catch Detective Pikachu in theaters on May 10, 2019. It's been eight years since Toy Story 3 left Buzz, Woody, and everyone else in the care of little Bonnie while Andy left for college. It was an ending that was both heartbreaking and heartwarming, and it made the perfect close to the relationship between Andy and the lovable gang of toys. Until now. Disney Pixar is bringing them back into our lives in 2019 with Toy Story 4, which will follow the toys on a new adventure that hopefully will be just as touching as the preceding three films. The main voice cast is returning, with Tom Hanks and Tim Allen voicing Woody and Buzz, respectively. Hanks has remarked that the ending of Toy Story 4 is particularly emotional. Get ready to weep openly in a movie theater in June 2019. After months of anticipation, Disney finally released the first trailer for their upcoming live-action remake of The Lion King, and it looks exactly like the original film. The teaser mostly focuses on the opening scene from the 1994 version showing baby Simba on Pride Rock as Rafiki anoints his head with red baboon juice. Or in this case, dust. Another shot the trailer shows is a sweeping view of a herd of wildebeest stampeding into a gorge while Mufasa's voice says, the sun will set on my time here. That's clearly some not-so-subtle foreshadowing that the 2019 movie will probably recreate the scene that made our six-year-old selves realize that life was a meaningless void. That new Simba sure does look cute. We just can't wait for The Lion King to hit theaters in July 2019.